What's up guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, we are on a fresh install of Fedora 35 with GNOME 42. And technically this is Noboro OS, but it's still Fedora 35, of course. And I don't know when GNOME 42 is going to be coming to Fedora 35, so I just kind of went ahead and grabbed a corp or a copper, or whatever the hell they call it. Fedora's little weird repos and installed it anyway, so... Uh, if we head to activities and we go over here to settings, you'll see that we're running GNOME 42 if it ever opens. It does. See? GNOME 42, the finalized version. We're also running just on our NVIDIA GPU. As you know, I do not like using my AMD GPU when it comes to this. The 3070 is plenty strong and I don't have any issues with it. So we all know what's no new in GNOME 42, right? Dark mode, so you can set your appearance in here. You can add your wallpaper here. A uh, whole bunch of other cool stuff. Nothing really needs to be gone over it again. But what we're going to be doing is customizing uh, this to my liking, not your liking. I know that's weird to hear, right? Somebody's doing something for them and not for you. But some people wanted to know, how do I get my GNOME 42 to look like yours? Well, that's what we're here for, I guess. Since I, I literally have to do it. I had figured that we would do this. Now, the first application I installed was called Extension Manager. The second one I installed is called GNOME Tweaks. You see, the first one didn't install, so we're going to have to do it again. So, um, the way that all this is going to function is pretty simple. Uh, I actually have to check on something real quick. I, have, I didn't uh, check if we were using this one or not. We were. Okay. Sorry about that. So the way this is going to work, we install Extensions Manager. We're going to get as many as we can from there. And then we're going to grab Arc Menu from its source. We're going to grab Dash to Dock from a PR. We're going to install both of those. So the only two things that we really have to mess with, Dash to Dock and Arc Menu. And those are really easy to deal with, okay? Now, I have found something that sort of already helps me. And that is if I go to Browse and I type... Ubuntu, and trust me, this is the first time Ubuntu is not useless. When we hit install, you notice that this bar just automatically goes transparent. It solves a problem for me and also gets thinner. Now, we're going to go to Blur, and we're going to install Blur My Shell. Then we're going to go and grab User Themes. Okay. Uh, we're actually going to go all the way back to the beginning page, and we're going to install the extensions list. And I know... For some people, this might seem like a lot, but trust me, what I'm doing is uh, it's barely anything at all, okay? And that's it. That's all we need. I don't really use anything else. Uh, so how do we do this? First, we're going to actually nothing. We're not going to do anything because we need to go grab uh, dash to dock, don't we? So we're for, first, we're going to go to terminal. We're going to type sudo dnf in. S-A-S-S-C. Because we need that to be able to compile dash to dock. It's very, very important. And hopefully it doesn't take 400 years just to install, because that would be bad for me. Come on, are you going to do anything? Okay. So that's installed. So we're going to exit that. We're going to open up uh, Firefox. Sorry about that. We're going to go to GitLab Arc Menu. Should not be the NDC one. I don't... I can't get there for some reason lately. Let's try this one. This is indeed the right one right here. So as you can see, this one was updated two hours ago. And if we click GNOME 42, we should just be able to download the zip. Now, before we do this, I do really need to check to see if um, it's back on the extensions manager. Arc menu. It's not there. Now, developers of Arc menu, if you see this video, I want to know something. Why is it not there? What is going on? Because, honestly, simplicity. Let's just be honest. Having it there is simplicity. It's just it's just simple. It makes everything nicer. So we're going to head into pull request. And we're going to just type 
42. Now we're going to grab this one right here. So this is everything for GNOME 42. We're going to click this. And we're going to hit download zip. So that's it. Those are the last two things that we need. And unfortunately, we're, we are going to have to log in and out because I believe we are using Wayland. And uh, you cannot restart what we need with Wayland enabled. So uh, make make install and if anybody has issues with this say this is just way too much work linux is not for you i'm sorry go back to windows and i'm not trying to sound mean but if you can't type two commands or thing you, this is not for you you're not up for this so you have to log in and out and that's annoying because i don't want to <laughs> I used to be able to just do Alt F2 and then type in, are we on Xorg? We're on Xorg. Yes. And there we go. We're good to go. Never mind. Arc menu enabled. Uh, before we enable dash to dock, we're going to have to go and disable dash here. And I want that a little bit brighter. Just click dash to dock. There it is. You'll notice that the dot is sort of up OBS's ass and that's not what we need. So we're going to go into dash to dock. We're going to just... Pull it down a little bit. I'm going to set this to 32. And I'm going to turn that off. You can keep that on if you want. Turn off. Um, move that to the beginning. Turn, turn that off. Turn off. Thank you. Turn off. Hey. Ooh, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to clean things up. So we're going to head here. We're going to turn this to dots. And then you can see the the, the dots are working again on the, uh, the dock. So we're good. Now, you can turn this to whatever theme you want. Just don't let it be super... Well, don't let it be this. How does this work? We're going to go for right about... There. See? So now when we go to fixed, we do that, and it sort of adapts to whatever color we have. Or we can do this. No. But technically we can. There, that's what I wanted. That's the look I wanted. So, what do we do now? Where do we go grab wallpapers and stuff? I don't know. We're not done yet. We need to go to Just Perfection. Did you forget we installed that? You probably did. We're going to go to Customize. And we're going to go Adding to Zero. Adding to Zero. Uh, to the right side. And we're going to click 8. I know what you're thinking. You're looking up at the right and you're like, that is just too far over. We're getting to it. We're going to go to visibility, app menu off. Like that. Right click this. We're going to go to button settings. And we're going to just move that over to about, you know what? Let's make it an even number of five. Wait, that's too far. Right about three should do it. Uh, browse icons, distro icons. We're on Fedora, so I'm choosing Fedora. And really, layouts, modern, and then choose 11. That's it. And then, boom, we have the 11. It's there. So this is it. This is what I normally do. And what we're also going to do is I'm going to log into Discord real quick. Let me in. And I'm going to go to my own Discord. And uh, we're going to go down to wallpapers because I have a thing for wallpapers in here. It's an off topic channel or text channel. Wallpapers. And this is the one that I like the most lately. It usually changes from time to time. We're going to save into the pictures area. And there we go. That is wallpaper. Done. But we're on GNOME 42, so you can't set as wallpaper. You see where I'm coming from on this? So we have to go in here, go to settings, add picture, add jelly, click it. Then we have the wallpaper. Pretty cool, huh? Not cool enough. So the final steps are as follows. Open the tweak tool. You're going to want to add that to favorites. Windows toolbars, left, and then like this appearance and arc now 
we are going to be adding in a theme. We always do. And we're going to be going first with Numix Circle because that's the one that I like using. And it's simple. There's a command right here to install it. So open up the terminal. Paste that in. I know what you're thinking. Don't you usually use normal circle, uh, Numix circle arc? I usually do. You're right, I usually do. But I found something out that Numix folder exists. We're gonna just download that as a zip. And we're gonna open that up. Extract here, add in. And you see that installed, so we're good on that part. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be just be opening in terminal. We're going to type sudo. Then it's not what I wanted to do. And you can have my password. There you go. You're fired. Dude, that was my password. Is there like... Yeah, fine. So we have to type new mix folders. See? It's just not not wanting to work am i messing the spelling up of numix not that's what it was okay there's the cool part you can choose different styles if you want okay easy peasy but what you can also choose this is default color so i'm going to go with blue we're going to hit apply and it's going to apply system wide okay and once it exit the application it's done we can go here Appearance, new mix circle, done. So we still got the blue folders. Next, we want to go grab our theme. My theme is always white, sir. And we're going to head here. So we're going to go down. Actually, we don't need to go down. I guess we'll just do it this way. Copy. Once again, open terminal. We're going to do git clone paste that in there now this is going to take a couple of seconds so bear with me cd i believe it's a capital and enter to slash install done and this is just going to install everything that's it it's done all right so we open up tweaks, we can go to applications, we can select white cert dark, done. And now we have the pretty buttons on most applications that are not being force overridden. So if we open up folders, you can see that that's not being force overridden at the moment. But if we go in here, uh, we can actually go and do that. Why didn't it not install the full thing? Yeah. Sometimes things will be overridden and sometimes things won't be overridden. And unfortunately, this is one of those times where it's not going to be force overridden. Maybe I need to do an Alt F2 again. Let's see what happens. No. Well, that's overridden. That's not being overridden. So you're not going to get full um theming throughout but at least our dock theme looks pretty cool it blends in it looks nice uh our workspaces are working as well as expected so where did i end it up oh there it is okay yeah because we can minimize it now can't we so that's it that's all i do in a nutshell to get my desktop environment looking the way that it does uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, share the video. This is for Nabora OS, Fedora 35, and GNOME 42. Uh, you could do the same thing for Fedora 41, except you can grab everything from extensions except for Arc Menu. I don't know why it's not showing Arc Menu on there, but it's kind of annoying and it bugs me. To know more about Nabora OS, I will be doing a video about this soon. It's gotten to a point where it's pretty stable when it comes to NVIDIA driver installation, which it does automatically, by the way. So I think it's almost time. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.